All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how to bench test a Curtis controller. And what I've got, controller right here, I've got jumper cables hooking up. You got your positive to your positive, negative to the negative on the controller. This is giving me positive to my key switch. This is acting as a key switch. And then you got your positive here running to the light. This is the load and how we're testing it. Your positive is going here, and these are all hooked in series. Each one of these bulbs is 12 volts. We're gonna be testing 48 volt controller and so we've got 12, 24, 36, 48 volts of resistance on here. The negatives run back over to here, which is your M terminal on your Curtis controller. So that's your load. So this is the pop box. This is your speed control. This is a potentiometer. It's a zero to 5K. So that's what we're testing with. You can get, you can just use a potentiometer. You don't need to use the pop box, but that's what I have if you want to test that way. And so this is wired in. You just hook it into the this pin and this pin is for your potentiometer. This top one's for your key switch power in to turn your unit on now we're going to go ahead and turn on the battery okay now we're turning on the key switch which this turns power into the unit now we pull that throttle yeah works just fine this would be us going slow this would be going fast that Curtis controller works just fine